The NBA's Board of Governors just a short while ago approving the league's return to play plan in a 29 to 1 vote. 22 of the NBA's 30 teams will go to Orlando, Florida to resume the season with games starting in late July. According to reports, each team will play eight regular season games before beginning a full four-round playoff bracket. The NBA and Players Union are still negotiating details of the safety protocols for the Orlando bubble. For example, players and coaches will be allowed to go outside, but they will, they will need to maintain social distancing rules. The league plans to have daily coronavirus testing. If a player tests positive, he would be removed from his team and he would go, go into quarantine and get individual treatment. But the rest of the team, they would keep playing while getting tested. Disney Resort employees will maintain similar protocols. For example, no staff will be allowed into player hotel rooms. Other leagues, they're watching how this plays out to see if it can actually work for many months and hundreds of people that are involved here. So there's a lot of, a lot of things to watch out for. One thing to note also is that Florida just had its biggest uptick in new coronavirus cases since March. It makes you wonder, Eric, what would happen, you know, not, not, but if, if one of the big stars got coronavirus and could the teams. Anyway, I, on a more serious note, putting all that aside, um, in the news today is this whole back and forth with Drew Brees, uh, the quarterback of the uh, New Orleans Saints, who's now apologizing over comments he made regarding the protest this week. Yeah, Kelly, that's right. New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees issuing an apology today for his comments on disrespecting the flag, saying he completely missed the mark and that it breaks his heart to know the pain he's caused. During an interview with Yahoo Finance yesterday, Brees reiterated his stance that he will never agree with anybody disrespecting the U.S. flag. He later told ESPN that he stands with his teammates fighting for racial equality and justice, but also with the military past and present. Those comments drew harsh criticism from a number of people, including his own teammates, who said one of his teammates said he was hurt by Brees' comments. In an Instagram post today, Brees said he was apologizing to his friends, teammates, New Orleans, the black community, the NFL community, and anyone he hurt with his comments from yesterday. CNBC has reached out to all of his many sponsors. None of them have so far commented but this could be a big hit to his marketability going forward. I wonder about the timing as we're about to start. I, I don't know if we're going to start the NFL season as usual, but it, you'd think it would start in a couple of months. And, you know, Colin Kaepernick is still one of the sort of most prominent names involved in the protests this week. A lot of people going back to uh, his anthem kneeling controversy, you know, several years ago. And you wonder if we could see something like that again. Oh, definitely. So obviously Colin Kaepernick's name has been in the news much more in the last few days. A lot of players say, look, he still doesn't have a job in the NFL. He got kicked out. He got blackballed. This is why he was kneeling. This is all the stuff we've been talking about for several years now. And there is this thought that you might see more player protests come back with more fervor when these NFL games kick off in a couple months, if they kick off, and then maybe even with these NBA games in Orlando. Right. It'll be tricky. Uh, that's for sure. Eric, thanks so much.